Hello, I'm Tom Morello from Street Sweeper Social Club, and it is my duty today to show you how to play our latest single, Promenade. Um, it's a bit of a square dance rap. The uh, verse has got basically two parts that alternate, the verse and the chorus, and on the single version, a wild-eyed guitar solo tacked onto the end. I'm going to demonstrate all of that and tell you some of the ways to play it. So the first song is very, very simple. You need a guitar in regular tuning, much like the one in my hands here. And it goes, you find the low E string, and it goes... That just goes on and on and on. Then you find someone like Boots Riley to rap some sort of political square dance vibe on top of it. And uh, everyone enjoys themselves. The chorus is played in octaves, uh, beginning on the A string. And uh, it sounds a little bit like this. square dance rap part. Uh, that's pretty basic. It goes back and forth, verse, verse, chorus, chorus. And then the, uh, the first guitar solo in the song, I use a digit, uh, sorry, I use a uh, crybaby wah-wah pedal for that. And for the solos, I used a regular EQ pedal that's set flat across and just boost it up a little bit. That's when I want to go to 11. So the solo of this song, the little seagulls fly into the distance, uh, and that is basically uh, uh, some blues-like riffing on the uh, E pentatonic scale. I'll play that for you now uh, without the effects, so you can hear how it's played naked and dry. <laughs> Seagulls continue on at the end there. I cheated and put the delay on. Uh, so at the end of the song comes the grand and wild-eyed guitar solo. For that, I use a Digitech whammy pedal, uh, a delay pedal, uh, and the EQ pedal again so that this solo can go to 11. Again, this, ver the, this solo is only on the, sing the remix single version uh, and in the live performance. You might see me play something like this. There's going to be some trickery involved, and I'll get back to that when we're done. It goes like this. two-thirds of the solo, we're going to stop there because we got a little bit of ahead of ourselves. So that first part is just, um, uh, it's the, the whammy pedal is set to one octave above, and there's a long delay on, so the notes kind of double back on themselves, and it's very, very exciting. Uh, the second part of the solo is the P.T. Barnum show busy over and under with the hand thing. That's basically just playing harmonics, very, very simply, without any effects on would sound like this, just... But when you add a little bit of delay and you depress the whammy pedal set to an octave, it goes like this. You add a little bit of distortion by turning the volume up and you get the majestic. And then you add 
the circus sideshow bit by playing the harmonics over and over. All very, very exciting there. The next part of the um, solo after that grand flurry uh, is the old-fashioned scritchy scratch. Now, on the uh, recording, I used a, a tremolo pedal to, to uh, on the recorded version you'll hear, it it's like sounds a, more chopped up than it will here, but it's just basically doing the scratching, um, which is one, the, the lead volume, the lead pickup on 10, the rhythm pickup on zero, uh, using the toggle switch to go between the two pickups, one that's on, one that's off. Uh, the EQ pedal is on, remember we go to 11, and the wah pedal is clicked on and then fully depressed to the full treble uh, white noise sounding thing. When you do that, then you just put your left hand on the strings, go back and forth on the toggle switch between, if I was just to rub my hand on the strings, it would sound like this. And that's not going to get you a hit, kids. That's not going to be a hit record for you. But if you toggle on and off, oh wait, what am I? Now I'm your, now I'm your favorite DJ. And uh, that's just, uh, that goes back and forth for a while. While I'm playing that on the record, there's a there's a really tight tremolo. I don't have that pedal with me here today. I'm sorry. Um, it was actually a studio. It was a it was a it wasn't a, a pedal. It was a, a digital effect in the studio that we did for the tremolo to make it real tight. I don't know what one that was. You probably don't have it at home anyway. So we're just going to do the best we can together. Uh, and the uh, solo then goes in this sort of flourish. I hope you've enjoyed this little guitar lesson. Uh, I'm Tom Morello from Street Sweeper Social Club. I've enjoyed spending some time with you. Goodbye.